Hey there, thanks for touching the parts. So the first thing I'd say is check all your dimensions. So if you hit the M key, you basically select this side to this side. Our dimension is there, but if you actually look at our precision, it's a crazy distance. I mean, that's not a defined thickness, so something's goofy on there. And then if we check on the other side, it's different and it's 114. So this is 118, 114. So our sheet metal defaults are currently set to 120, and there's no bends on either of the corners. Um, so there's two different ways we can do this. I would say that the easiest thing would be to redraw the whole thing based on these measurements, because you can then measure from here to here, and that's 105 degrees. And we can also measure this length, which is also crazy. And then this one is also crazy. So none of these dimensions are really defined to any known value um, other than the 105 degrees. So I'm guessing it came from something else that was just projected between two points. Um, regardless, just to let you know. Um, so if we created a sketch on here, and then a sketch on the top view, we can then project the geometry of here. And then I'm going to draw the line this way, this way. There and to there. That one's perpendicular. Okay, so this is a sheet metal part. So if I basically do this distance and thickness, it's going to basically pull that 120. And again, from this thickness, so that way we have an exact offset of what we want to do. So finish our sketch. Then we can extrude that little portion here um, distance from face between so I want to do from between here to here so basically it's going to grab that and then put that little filled in section we hit OK so now if I hit my measure key I can then test it out and now that's at 120 exactly and 120 exactly. Now we don't have a radius on the inside or the outside, so we can go to our 3D model, do our fillet, and on the inside, I call this one Mr. Parameters and call that one thickness. And then I'm going to do add and do the outside, and I'm going to do this one times two. So that way we basically have a thickness going on both of them. Go back to our sheet metal and we create our flat pattern and there you go now you'll notice that you have this little extra sliver on there because basically that's where the part's getting bent and turned you can't see it on this side but if we actually go to the back side you'll see that it's on there as well